Reporter Andrew Moore is live at a vigil being held for Michael Dean right now with the latest. Hey, Andrew. Jasmine Dean's family celebrated his life at a funeral service at a local church today where he was described as a loving man who cared about his brothers and sisters. But that family is still looking for answers from Temple PD in the city of Temple, and they have none. Every praise is to our God. Music filled the room at Michael Dean's funeral today in Temple. Church leaders look to their faith to comfort a family still in the midst of pain. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Michael Dean was only 28 years old. A few friends and family shared their memories with the congregation. And I don't think there was ever a time that uh, we got off the phone and, and he didn't say, I love you. He, he, he went through every day, if he met him, he came to life. But civil rights attorney Lee Merritt also spoke during and after calling on the community to take a stand. We as a kingdom have a responsibility uh, to stop people, to stop wolves from taking by force yeah. men like Mike. And Merritt also spoke to reporters after the funeral, calling on the city for justice in this case. The city has a responsibility of this community to be forthcoming, and they have the responsibility to this family to do justice. Still, the city is waiting on the Texas Rangers to examine the facts of this case. And without any facts available, only loss remains. He was a real jumpster for sure. And uh, I just, we're going to miss him a lot. And the family is holding a candlelight vigil for Dean tonight at Temple City Hall right behind me here. So they're still getting started. Those candles haven't started uh, being lit up yet, but we're going to show you that coming up at 10 o'clock. Jasmine. All right. Thanks, Andrew. So many questions that people um, want answered. Thank you so much for that report, Andrew. Well,